Sharonda Williams pair of weights. How are we doing today? We're doing great. Right. Fantastic. Look, before I get into my question, this has been on my heart after watching season two, and I had to just say this. I just need to put some respect on Pope's name, okay? Because I don't like the disrespect my friend was receiving from Madison. Madison, your character, I just felt like, why are you disrespecting my guy right now? I don't understand. Feel the same way. Listen, it was hard. It was hard to, it was a hard scene to do. And I was like, why does Kiara have to be so mean right now? Uh, it broke my heart. I just needed to get that off my chest. Pope's a trooper. Pope, Pope um, keeps it moving. Just, <laughs> Pope's going to find someone way better. He keeps probably. it moving. <laughs> Oh, I just I just had to get out off my chest. I appreciate y'all letting me have that moment. But what I, what I actually wanted to ask all of you is, I love how your characters are so fearless and brave. No matter what obstacle is presented against them, they're going to ride or die for their friends. And I wanted to know for all of you, how is portraying these characters for the past two seasons, how has that pushed you to be brave or fearless, either personally or professionally? Uh, yeah, I mean, again, like, you know, Pope, Pope's kind of changed into kind of like finding his own and like standing on his like, you know, he's, he's gone from like a 16 year old boy and kind of transitioned into a man. And, you know, again, like, I think, I think his, his willingness to kind of like push for what he goes for and like not really care about like, you know, what people think about it or like, you know, he's, he's learning to like, to more so like the things that matter are the things that matter to him. It's like his conviction and his, he's very strong in his conviction. So so like, I think like learning to get stronger in my convictions and make sure I, I stay, you know, pretty firm in what I believe is, is just, you know, something that I, I it reaffirmed, like Pope just kind of reaffirmed when, I, when, I, when, you know, I got to portray that in the season. Yeah, uh, something I always say about JJ is he teaches me to ask help and like um, uh, JJ doesn't want to ask help. That's what he, it's, uh, it's characteristic that JJ doesn't want to show his vulnerability. And um, uh, I think uh, learning the lesson from JJ, it is okay to ask help. Yeah, something I've learned from Kiara is to, uh, you know, not only bend the rules a little bit, but stay firm in who you are, even if, you know, you do have somebody pulling you one way or the other, just be very firm and um, figuring out who you are. I love it. I really love to ask for help. Asking for help is hard. That is hard as an adult. I just need people to yeah. understand that. But, you know, I, I really want to know in real life, I know that the everyone is ride or die for their friends. I just don't know if I can keep putting my life at risk day in and day out. These are crazy <laughs> situations. So what the real life version of you, like, would you still decide to go on this treasure hunt knowing the danger that lies ahead of you? Like, would you really be this ride or die friend? No, I was asking myself that same question. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think there is a uh, certain characteristic about JJ to be like, no, let's go do it. Let's go get this, like, get this loot and like win it and get the dub, uh, which is an, a theme this season is kind of to win. Um, and uh, <laughs> but at what cost, you know, at what cost do we want to win for? It? And I think uh, that's that's a toss up right now. But like, is the actual one win the gold or is the actual win not to die now? Uh, is that uh, where we're at? Hey, what about you? You riding or dying? Well, technically, almost a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you riding <laughs> and dying. <laughs> the ride is to die. You ride <laughs> to die. <laughs> that is code. That's code. That, that I would do for my friends. And then there are parts of it that I don't know. I don't know if I would crawl in the sewer for my friends. I don't know what they dropped down there, but like we'll get you a new one, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like I would do everything in my power to not have to die to do what I can for you. You know? Like I'll make I'll make it, I'll do whatever to not put my life on the line again. Look, you are the best representation of friends that anyone could have. I don't know if I could be that bold, but I want to thank all of you for taking the time to speak with me today. I really appreciate it. And I'm sending you love and light all of your ways. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank so you. Much. Thank you.